and opinions expressed in the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4CY Radio or its employees or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4CY Radio. Welcome to Outdoors People, with me, C.W. Getz, and her, Maya Marzaki. Good evening, it's Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Is that like the DJ, like the rock and roll DJ on the radio, right? Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. I used to say something like Sunday, Sunday. Remember that? I don't know if you had that commercial tongue there, but that was the drag. No, race. I don't. Actually, I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> Here in Chicago, we had the drag racing commercials, you know, and the guy would go Sunday, Sunday, you know, and you know, the drag strip name or whatever. It was kind of cool. I always like that guy's okay. voice. But today in North Central Illinois, we have a, a whopping 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Which, and by the way, that is cloudy and windy, 63 degrees. So not that much, but it's really windy here. That is 18 degrees Celsius, Ms. Marzaki, down there in Brazil. What do you got? Whoa. Uh, of course, it is a warmer here, right? I know. <laughs> right. Even though it's fall, still hot, but not as hot as Florida, where Juan it is. But, well, it is uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and it nice. means for the free world, 24 degrees Celsius. I'll trade you. I'll trade you. Look at Juan. Juan says, I owe 80 degrees cold <laughs> in South Florida. So he's freezing down there at 80. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 80? 80 degrees? <laughs> That's hot, man. Oh, my I don't gosh. Think so. I don't, you don't start getting hot in my program here until you get to anything past 85, 86 degrees. Then it starts getting hot. You know. Tonight. Oh, my gosh. For me, like 75, it is pretty much hot. Already. I think like you would like hot. this 63-degree program here we got going on. You would be at home with that. Yes, right? Like chill, <laughs> nice. <laughs> But that, uh, that, what is that, that down jacket you've got that on there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 88 midday. And that's, that's a sunset, Tempe says in Florida. So that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I like your weather, Juan. And, and 88 is hot. I mean, it's getting hot. It's yeah. Like something, yeah. Uh, but he's used to it. He's cold at 80 degrees. So I, I totally get that. Uh, <laughs> well, I kind of get it, right? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Garcia, freezing, uh, freezing his hiney off down there at 80 degrees. I love it. Well, um, let's meet let's meet our guest this evening, shall we? Yes, please. I'm looking forward. All right. 33-year-old Spanish certified free diver and scuba diver Irene Esquare is also a professional 3D character animator. Her work has been featured in several motion pictures like the Spanish film Tadeo Jones 3, the motion picture Luck, which can be seen on Apple TV, as well as movies like Woody Woodpecker and Spellbound on Netflix. Irene, also an accomplished veteran gymnast, will be competing in her first championship later this month. Most notably, this Spanish superwoman's creative nature inspired her to combine gymnastics with freediving. His music is saying, you, to the audience, but in a really beautiful way. It's like, you. I love you. Now let me play you some beautiful music. You know, so there's this feeling like um, they're going to do whatever they want and, and assert their own will and not worry about how it's being understood or whatever. Yet the wonderful thing about that is that it speaks to people. Well, with that, welcome to the show, Irene. How you doing? Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> welcome. <laughs> how is your Thank weather you. in Spain this evening? What kind of temperature? Well, right now, yeah. it's 15 degrees, but Celsius. I don't know in Fahrenheit how much is it. 
All right, uh, I'm reaching for my handy little like, heater chart here. 15 um, degrees. What does like that mean? Three degrees. Why is we get hot here for me? Wait. Oh, like I'm in the negative section. Let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> like 55. Yeah, it's about 55 degrees. That's yeah. That's a, that's yeah, it's like you. Part. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, you, nice you way, is this jacket weather for you over there? Or are you pretty much uh, used to this, you know, go outside? Sorry, what? I, I mean, do you, is this kind of, is it jacket weather for you in Spain? Or are you just kind of, this is, yeah, we're used to this. 55, no problem. I'll go outside. No, it's not bad. It's good. Yeah. yeah that's cool. But you guys like all that cooler weather. <laughs> yeah, it is like comfortable weather. Like nice, not hot, not cold. I love that weather. That's just perfect. Well, it's perfect it's, for it's summer. It's really hot. So in summer here in Madrid, it's really hot. You really? you don't want to be here. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Actually, all people from Madrid want to go away. Is it Madrid summer. or is it is it uh, Brazil hot or is it just you know what kind of hot is it? Like how hot does it get there in the summer? It's not like wet hot because uh, there is no water here in Madrid because we are in the center of the of the pen, of of the country. Yeah. But it's, it's like so I don't know the air is like I don't know humid. So, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. It's, it's, oh, it's no. not wet, but it's the it's opposite. Dry, right? It's yeah. Like exactly. Dry, cold. Exactly. Yeah. I have just the opposite here. Really, yeah. really hot. <laughs> really hot. <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but you know that's funny because the temperature doesn't go as hot as here in Brazil, but the feel is like worse, feels like hotter than actually it is. I don't know if because it is really wet, I, I don't know, but it feels like hotter than it is, right? I feel like that, I don't know. You can tell me better, <laughs> you live in Madrid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For example, in Canary <laughs> Islands, you know, the, the weather is, is, is it's a hot, like, wet hot, but it's um, for me it's better because it's it's not too warm. But here it's like I don't know the hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, poor girl! <laughs> but uh, well, such in a young age you became involved in art and also athletics. Uh, what influences led you to pursue each of these interests? Well, since I was um, a child, uh, I have always had a certain predisposition of uh, doing some draw and dance and sing. And I think my parents realized that. And, or maybe they, they want me to, to go home very tired at that age because I was so very energetic child. And, and yeah, and, and they, they tried to, to put me in some places. I started with singing. After that, dancing and, and then playing some instruments like bandurria and guitar. Uh, yeah, first of all was that. Um, for example, in dancing, in I, um, I was born in the north of Spain, uh, near France, and the most typical folklore there it was called Jota. Uh, so I think every, everyone knows from, from the north that is the, the most typical thing to do, like dance and sing in Jota. And it was my, my beginning from that. Uh, but for example, in gymnastics, it, it wasn't since four years ago that I started because one friend of mine wanted to, um, to try some aerial stuff near, near our, our job. And yeah, I said, yes, why not? Let's try it. And for example, she was very interested in aerial silks. But for me, I really liked pole dancing because uh, it involves some lyrical stuff and it was really near like a um, technical ballet skills and I really liked it because I really like music and choreography and things like that and, and I said okay we can put or com combine both things like ballet and choreography music and also do some really hard sport in the in the pool so yeah that was the, the beginning of that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, well, go ahead, Maya. No, no, no. Sorry, I was just like going to say, like, okay, like just the beginning. <laughs> she began with everything, right? <laughs> you know, just the beginning. Yeah. Well, so now how did That's diving? So and impressive. <laughs> Sorry. How did diving work into all this? How did you get into the diving part of it then? Well, if I have always like water and, you know, when when you're a child, you are going to underwater to, I don't know, to looking for some stuff, you know, 
uh, diving in the pool or something. But actually, it was last year that I did my, I, I did my first trip to Maldives. And, and yeah, it was all the whole week and going to the water every day. Uh, it was super funny because, you know, many people really prepared themselves to go to that trip, like uh, getting their first uh, diving certificate or even doing uh, the first free diving course for that trip. But I just didn't do it. And I just went to the to the trip without knowing anything about that. <laughs> but I, it really amazed me how people going so deep in the underwater and, you know, keep their breath as, as much as they, they can. And, and it really surprised me, but I didn't even think about it. We was there when I met uh, my current freediving instructor, Wojtek, and he's a professional photographer underwater, and he saw me just diving, you know, with the snorkeling into the surface, doing some kind of light of the, of the stuff, and he just told me, you are, you seem really calm underwater. Why don't you try to, to do some freediving, go go deeper and deeper, and I don't know, and, and I said, yeah, sure, just tell me how to do it, and... He told me some tips, and I really practiced it during the whole week, during the trip, and it was really cool. I really love it. And he told me, okay, let's go to do the freediving course with me. Come to Canary Island, and in January, you will start to do freediving course. And that's what I did, and I, and I started three months ago, I think, from so far. So. Yeah. How many yeah. months ago? How many months? Eight, you said? Uh, in January, like four, four months right now. Yeah, four we months? are in April, oh, yes. so... You're like a yeah. natural. <laughs> and oh and did God. he, he was actually took your picture, isn't that, isn't that right? He was the one that took all those cool yes. pictures. Like, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and actually amazing. it was this month, uh, last month ago in March, I I just got my certificate in advanced free diving, which is the next wow. level of the course. So, yay. <laughs> in four months. Holy smoke. Wow. Michael Jordan of the free diving. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really, not really. There are many people who are really better at it. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Anna, Anna, you are pretty good actually. Um, but for people who doesn't know Latin people, uh, of course I don't have those talents, but to make people understand, we grow up with music, with bands, with uh typical festivals and stuff like that. So it's kind of normal but you have like real talents <laughs> thank yeah, you like for sure. you took it like higher that's <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> and talking about that how did you incorporate those uh gymnastic skills you have uh, with free diving well, actually, that idea came up with, uh, again, my instructor, Wojtek, because uh, when when we met, uh, he saw many pictures of my staff in, on Instagram doing some aerial, uh, six, rope, hope, and all that kind of aerial circus stuff. And for him, he already do a, a photography session of uh, aerial hoop before. And he said, why don't we try to combine again the gymnastics uh, skills that you have with free diving because you already know how to do free diving and you can stay underwater a lot of minutes. So why don't we do that? And I said, okay, it's, it's gonna be a, a good challenge because it's not like a normal thing to do, you know? Uh, and, and I was like, okay, go go for it. So it was like, uh, yeah, last March, one month ago, that um, I go, I went to Canary Island, and he said, yeah, let's let's do it in that moment because we are going to do the advanced free diving course, and let's go to do the photography session. And you know, it's that's very curious because I I watched many videos with um, you know people doing some ballet dancing underwater, which is very beautiful mm -hmm. to see, but oh, yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. see. Uh, many videos or stuff like you know doing gymnastic things underwater with hoop or rope or whatever so it, it was very interesting to do are you the first one to do uh, the aerial hoop underwater i don't that think you know so of? maybe i don't <laughs> think so maybe another, another woman or or man do it before but <laughs> for me that i know i, I was yeah, i think I the mean, second person because the first one was the the girl the girl who who take the the hoop with us underwater mm -hmm. and he already 
uh, oh, the decision okay. before with with Voitex. So I chose. Uh, no, one, one more woman. <laughs> how, do you, how do you suspend that? How do you suspend that? Who, what, or where is it hanging from? Like off the boat or something or what? How do you ever hang that thing? That's a very good question. Because, you know, they... <laughs> Get into the technical <laughs> aspect of this. I'm just, hey, I'm just the, uh, you know, the, the the model here, right? I'm not the, I'm not yeah. the exact right about that. I get it. It was I difficult it. because, you know, the, the, the hoop is not very heavy. It's heavy, but, you know, on the water, nothing is really heavy. So uh, the, um, the hoop was attached from the surface with, uh, you know, the, the boy that the, the boys that get, you know, the, the separate distance in the, um, in oh, the yeah. sea. Yeah, boots, and, yeah. Yeah, so it was just attached from the surface, and it was very difficult for us to try to do the the photo shoot because it was at not very good conditions of the sea. Also, it was very windy. The water was yeah. really really cold. <laughs> and you know, normally when we do free diving, it's like we have like a neoprene suit. Neo neoprene, yeah. Neoprene, neoprene yep, yeah. 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 So um, we were protected from the from the cold actually the from the water but not in this time because you are going to you know <laughs> somewhere yeah, going to, um, to pictures <laughs> for you and you're you not you need to yeah oh my gosh. yeah so you, you need like a, a cute swim suite <laughs> for the pictures <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be protected from the cold so it's gonna be like this like that were you shivering under the water were your teeth were your teeth shivering when you were <laughs> under there were you <laughs> she was all purple Cold. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was That's so amazing. so cold. I, I remember that. Day. Oh my gosh! And also, well, they were like so. You, were, you didn't look like you were crying or anything. So that's good. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a a challenge. Actually, it was a really challenge. Yeah. But you know, oh, uh, he had a good vision because uh, when you are dancing or doing those uh, circles and. Uh, acrobacy and you know, like stuff like that it feels like you are flying and i feel like the same feeling you have you can get when you are free diving feels like you kind of uh, flying but in the water and the pictures uh show that like show like feels like you are almost flying in the water like feels like in the air. I don't know. It's very like smoothy and a flow. I don't know. I think that was a, such a good idea. Like you guys rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely it feels like flying actually underwater. You know, right? your, your parents, uh, how, I wonder what were their reaction when you said, yeah, I'm going to be a free diver. I'm going to go down and, you know, and then, and then the gymnastics underwater mm -hmm. too. What what they say to all that? God, my parents. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well that's, that's another an right good there. question. <laughs> there's a, there's yeah. a can of worms I can see right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, regarding gymnastics stuff, it uh, you know the they weren't really aware very much about it. So it's like you know they seem like oh you are going to do like the circle uh, the circle of soleil or something like this and it's, and it's like no 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 relax it's gonna be near the the floor it's okay everything is gonna be fine just you know the hoop the the pole is fine and, and my parents were like okay but but one day i just uh, show show them many videos of doing some choreography but it was like five or seven meters high oh. <laughs> and then you know the reaction changed because they, they thought it was like i don't know maybe one meter doing some kind of stuff but not like i don't know three minutes of song doing uh, very real. dangerous stuff <laughs> <laughs> do you have and, pads underneath like like the what do you call those mats so you can land on them if they're if you fall it's not like like crash pads yeah, as long as you fall in the country right i hope not anyway <laughs> We we have saved safety yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's not it's not like that. But you know, it's true that uh, we we do this stuff like many hours during the week. So finally, at the end of the week, we have so many I don't know bombs, and no, your, your body get a little bit hurt, <laughs> and it's mm. um, uglier than it than it that it really is. But you know, it seems like I I was in a fight or something, <laughs> and. and <laughs> And my parents asked me, are you okay? What was this time? <laughs> have, you ever been in a fight? have you ever been in a fight, really? I mean, you've never been in a fight, have you? <laughs> you don't know what that feels Nobody like. Nobody would know. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, but, it's true, but apart from that, 
regarding gymnastics, they, they were fine. But in freediving, actually, it was a really different different reaction because, you know, they know I'm not going to, to breathe underwater. So, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my, my mom and doesn't un understand the point of doing this because it's like, why, are, why do you need to go so deep? Why? You're not going to see anything. Because it's so dark. What, what is the point of doing this? And I don't know, of course, or keep my breath like three minutes or something. So I, why do you need to take your breath so long? What, what is the point of that? You can, you, hold, you can hold your breath for how many? How long can you hold your breath for? Three minutes, you said? Three three minutes, but in a static, like doing nothing. In, like like in the static. Wow, three minutes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. My, my dad don't care, doesn't care at all. My dad is like, if you are happy doing this, ah, it's okay. He's giving up with me. <laughs> He's gave up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Typical parent, right? Whatever, yeah. do what you want. You will anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, you do you. <laughs> yeah. You do you. Right? Just I feel my, sorry. Just my sorry. Sorry, what? No, just my mom. I want to, wants to, wants me, when I, she asks me every day to, to grade her to say, yeah, I'm alive. So she's not worried about. She's she's pretty yeah. She doesn't understand I'm, what you're thinking. I'm sure a lot of times, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I feel sorry for our parents from the people we interviewed because we interviewed just like crazy people like you, but good crazy in my point of view. <laughs> so I feel sorry for all those parents. Yeah. yeah. Poor people. Yeah, you probably had a little of that too, didn't you? Your 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 uh, mom. With your oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Sure. <laughs> Once she called me on a Sunday, like screaming on me on the phone, over the phone, like, I hate seeing your pictures. And I was like, okay, so stop seeing my pictures. I'm looking at them. I That's so it. easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And, and my, fa my, my, par my father once said, uh, did you like feel like staying at home, enjoying Netflix sometimes? I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't buy a television just to make sure I'm not going to feel that away. Like, never. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, poor guys. Plenty of time for Netflix. <laughs> but let's talk about something your parents loved, I'm sure. <laughs> about your job, about New York. <laughs> um, so... Tell us about uh, the type of work you do for a living and about your time in New York City. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm currently working as a 3D character animator. And yeah, we participate in doing movies like, uh, well, as you already talked uh, before, Tadio Jones 3 here in Spain, Spanish production. Uh, like that, you can watch it in Apple TV, Woody Woodpecker. And Spellbound, the, the new one that is going to be released this year on Netflix. And yeah, I also work in, in video games, doing Metroid Dread and in television series. But uh, it was a really recent studies that I, that I had, like five years ago. But I, it wasn't my beginning. I started studying uh, business and management, marketing and market research that allows me to work in the Spanish consulate in New York. And I was working there for one year and a half, more or less, actually. And yeah, so far, it was um, the most enriching experience I have ever had uh, at, at work. And, and you know, I couldn't do my, my Erasmus program when I was studying uh, marketing and, man and market research. And it was like a, a punch in my heart, and I couldn't do that. <laughs> and I was so so excited to to go abroad and do and well have like an overseas uh, overseas experience in that. And it was really amazing, really really amazing. But actually, it was there when one colleague uh, from the Spanish consulate uh, just saw me drawing, singing Disney songs, always talking about, you know, animation movies and stuff like that. And, and suddenly she asked me, why don't you just work on that? And, and I really didn't even think about it because, you know, I was like an uh, automatic pilot, I don't know, if my, in my life. And I realized that I, at that moment that is like, Damn it! Yes, why not? <laughs> I love it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and 
but you know, for me, I didn't even I didn't even think about it. Like for me, it wasn't like even possible. I you know just you watch a movie, but I didn't realize that I I couldn't do the that that kind of stuff. Yeah. And and also I'm I'm a very you know creative creative and energetic person and then I I just ask myself uh, do I see myself in ten years doing the same thing like here or what do you want what do you really want to do so yeah I started to investigate so hard about animation I start a master degree in graphic design in New York because also I I didn't want to waste already my time uh, studying the market the marketing that I already have that studies I want to combine like how I can do it both things yeah like animation is very different from what I already studied but if I do I don't know study like this graphic design maybe I can combine some more 3d softwares or I don't know computer stuff something like that we will figure it out how it's gonna be and yeah, I st I I studied the graphic design degree in New York, and then I I come back. I return to Spain, in Madrid, and and then I start studying my master degree in animation. Wow! And yeah, it was a really a, ch a challenge. You know, my my parents w were like, "Okay, what happened? <laughs> what happened <laughs> now? Because you already have two degrees." one master degree and you decide to change whole, all your life i don't know many years because it was two degrees and it takes time and and he's like yeah no no i want to to, to work with with other completely different thing right now uh, but yeah it was that was five years ago and i can i can tell right now that i'm working that i really want to what i really want to do and what i most enjoyed so well, there's a reason we called this episode Spanish Superwoman. It, it, it is, <laughs> I mean, there's a reason for that. Yeah, and and speaking of working, mm -hmm. I how do you and, and your you know your um, your hobbies, I guess we'll call it. But how do you balance? I mean, how do you find time uh, to balance? You know, between work and family and personal life and all that. How do you how do you work that balance out? Well, I'm a very organized person. That's true for, for a fact. But you know, um, it's true that I have a, a really tight schedule. But I, you know, for important things, I I always have time. For example, I have uh, mostly of weekends. I I meet with my friends, my family, or dating or whatever. For example, my my brother li lives with his family here in Madrid, so I can escape any weekend afternoon and go to visit him. It's true that, for example, my parents, that they are living in Huesca, which is four hours from Madrid by car. Mm. So, yeah, so, sadly for them, I, I cannot <laughs> see them <Yeah. laughs> the most frequently that they, they really liked. But, yeah, for friends, it's true that sometimes my friends that want to, to see me, uh, it's like, okay, let's plan it two weeks in advance because Irene has like a really tight schedule. So let's make sure we can meet that day. Yeah. Schedule, <laughs> schedule it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Scheduling. yeah exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, sometimes that happens, but you know, if there is something important or whatever, I can, you know, reschedule or cancel a class, it's not a big deal. So mm. no problem. They're like being okay. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> For example. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. Well, they need to understand because you are a rock star, right? You have so many things to do, so they must understand it. <laughs> it's the life of a rock star, right? Right? Yeah. It's how, how rock stars do, right? How they roll, yeah. Right? And I'm talking about that, like, uh, CW is right. The name of the show is like Judge Perfect. You, are, you have so many talents. You are the real geo, the like, Rockstar, you are talent on uh, sports, you are athletic, you are a super nerd and talented girl. <laughs> so that's so cool. And you can combine all of that and uh, do your like best in whatever you do. So that's that's pretty nice. And um, but you know, life it is not just flowers, so <laughs> um, have you ever uh have you ever uh oh me sorry have you ever anything scary happen while you were diving 
sides of the code, of course, <laughs> stuff like yeah. that. God, yeah, there was two situations that I, I really remember very well. <laughs> First of all, it was uh, in Maldives as well, uh, last last year in September. Um, you know, we, we used to swim with sharks, nurse sharks. And it was like the, the first time I, I swam with sharks. And it was a really great experience. And it, uh, it's, there is a protocol that you must follow uh, for behave with sharks. For example, you, cannot, you must have your hands close to your body while swimming uh, because the, your fingers can, uh, it's very similar, like a fish movement or something. So they, I don't know. Maybe they can be confused you for that. It don't splash under the water in in the water, and and also keep an eye contact to the sharks. And and for me it was like okay, I got it, no problem. Let's go diving, and, and that's it. And it was like a a, a video and photos, and pictures under under water. And I remember that it was um, some you know the the guy gets some some dead fish to attract the the sharks and going closer to us and there was like a sea current so i my theory of that is that i was very close to the um, to the dead fish <laughs> and i just go go underwater mm -hmm. and i just saw two sharks approaching me and touch my body but nothing that hurts me so i just follow swimming and then i just saw a shark just in front of me and they tried mm -hmm. to beat my chest <laughs> and i i could react uh, i heard that i very... heard that scream i heard you go ah like that in the video yeah exactly <laughs> did you get, any, yeah, did you get any teeth marks like did they make draw blood or anything or no uh, what sorry did they get blood did you get did you did you bleed no. okay no 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 Thank so you. that's why she's alive right oh my god <laughs> Well, people live through shark bites, but yeah. I'm like, I heard that in the video. I go, she just got bit. I go, that's so wild. But yeah. No, no, fortunately, I could react so quickly. And yeah, you know, just the swim suite get the, the most awful part because, you know, the teeth was a bit sink of the sw swim suite, but fortunately, yeah. not in my body. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a bit scared, but it was that, fortunately. Did nothing. you tell your parents about oh, that? Yeah. I'm, but, uh, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hey, super mom. proud of myself. <laughs> hey, mom, guess what, mom? And guess what happened today? You'll never guess. Oh, my God. Yeah, I well, survived for a bite shark. CW, I said, very. Uh, sorry, CWs, you asked her if she got in a fight. Yes, she did with yes, a shark. Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you watch Megalodon? Megalodon? I don't know the movie. Yeah, it was funny. Well, there's, the, was, there's the movie Jaws. This is one that comes to mind, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> and it's a scary movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of was. When for the time, it was really scary. I mean, that was we never had anything like that before. Hey, um, I'm going to have you tell us about the upcoming gymnastics event, Aerial Championships, um, that you'll be competing in. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's going to be next week. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited as well to, to do it because it's my, it's my first competition. And actually, I think it's the first aerial art championship that is going to be made in here in Madrid because there is so many comp pole, pole dance competition, but not about aerial skills. So it's, I think it's the... I think it's the first one and it has been very well received for the people who really wanted to um, to compete and it's, it's really exciting actually there are like three categories it's amateur pro and artist and for example in my case because it depends on how many years have you been practicing each sport and and if you are i don't know a professional or you are a coach and you have been practicing i don't know for your whole life 20 years whatever and maybe you are going to be in the artist which is the most important uh, category the most difficult one and in my case because i just uh, did it for three years it's going to be the first one the amateur and well consist in doing some choreography stuff in my case the i choose the um, aerial hoop which is Ooh, my, nice. yeah. my favorite yeah. element and yeah it's like three minutes 20 seconds of the song so yeah we have to combine some aerial skills and do some choreography also dancing on the floor yeah like uh, artistical stuff like this 
So now, yeah. Are you are you competing like with with people who do this for a living? This is their profession. I mean, are you going to be with these professional people, or or is it just uh, is it just amateurs? How how does that work? Well, for example, in my case, in my category is the people who have never competed before as me. And oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, the same years that they have been practicing the elements in the other category, you know, we we are separated by categories of how many years have you been practicing. Oh, okay. It. Interesting. So, yeah, for the most pro people. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I wonder. I mean, who are you going to be competing against? You know, like these people have been doing this for, you know, 15 years or something. Like, Holy crap. That's a lot. <laughs> exactly. Not very fair. <laughs> so it's good. It's good. Are well, you going to win? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Maya. No, she's natural and she's good and rock star and fast learner. So, you know, like, why not? <laughs> yeah. Do you think you're going to win? You think you're going to take first on, on all these things or what? What are you thinking? How's your confidence level? How's that? I'll just ask it that way. Well, I, I have confidence, but you know, it's always the first time. First times always is like you get nervous. You have the anxious of doing so well, maybe so pressure, but just not by myself, not from the other people. But I just yeah. wanted to to do it so yeah. so perfect. And we, we see. You, you might want to take a little belt or something of a little whiskey before you go on. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> they allow that. I I think Don't tell anybody. Story. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, take your nerves away. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Such a good idea. <laughs> well, you know something? We are in my best part of the show. <laughs> the part we see some photos. <laughs> I knew that was coming, man. I knew that was coming. I'm like, <laughs> Set her I up. never disappoint to you. No. So, Juan, can you show us the pictures, the rock star pictures? Well, look at that. There we go. That's hey, crazy. you know what? We never talked about the rope, did we? Or whatever you call it. Oh, yeah. Call it. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the area rope with I've been doing this just one year, so I'm not very good at it. But for oh me, it's the, the <laughs> just most difficult say. one. Do you believe her, Maya? Come on. You, you, what do you mean you're you not good? Months for a professional <laughs> diver. And, yeah, come on. Oh my gosh, look at this. No, really, really. Actually, there are so many people really, really good at it. But wow. for me, it's the most difficult one, actually, for the area stuff. It looks like you're tied up in knots there, honestly. <laughs> Can you get out of that, or do you have to have help? So what sorry? Do you uh, you look like you're tied up in knots there? How, do you get out of that, or you have to have help with getting out of something like that? No, I, 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 could, to, I could do it. Yeah, I would she, need she somebody can... to come help me. Get me out of here. <laughs> well, she can just fall. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. but it is a, like a, a actually a rope. Like it's not a fabric; it's a rope. Yeah, well, it's a rope. Mm -hmm. That's why you get bruises and uh, markings in your skin. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I got it. Oh Look at my this. gosh. There's that yeah. looks like it takes some serious strength to hold yourself in that position. Wow. That's very painful in the arm, actually. <laughs> yeah, I could I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. You might as well get in a fight. I mean, you never know the difference, right? <laughs> really Look at this. It's See, this looks, looks tied up. I it looks like oh my gosh, I would never be able to get out of that, I don't think. <laughs> Actually, that picture was taken like uh, I think months ago, and if you compare with the first one that we saw, I almost touched my feet with my with my head. So it's like an wow. improvement. That <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Cool. That is amazing how you can bend and yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I love that. I've never seen anybody do a rope before. I've seen the fabric, you know, the whatever yeah. you call it. <laughs> yeah. Never the rope, of course, the aerial hoop, but never <laughs> rope. So that's my yeah, first. Yeah, me too. Who made a funny comment now? Like CW would let go and just hope for the best. <laughs> I absolutely would. <laughs> you better have a good mat underneath me because otherwise I'm going to the hospital with a concussion. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh. And you got to hold that rope together because that's your stirrup, right? So to speak. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of strength going on there, Maya. Look at that. I feel like her hands are like my client hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, right? it's very similar. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's, yes, and so beautiful. Doesn't look like you are almost, you know, like crying. Hurting <laughs> 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 you yourself. So beautiful. And it's so light and sweet. So yeah. beautiful. You do a great <laughs> job. That's crazy. 
Oh, yeah, that looks hard. That looks expensive. not not really. It was super simple figure <laughs> actually because you can relax, you know, with your leg in the in the hoop. Actually, <laughs> there's nothing about that photo that looks relaxing. If you must know, <laughs> I mean that that yeah, looks painful actually for me, but. <laughs> Anything but relaxful, uh, relaxing, I should say. But yeah, my gosh. Yeah, for example, in the championship, that would be one of my favorites of the choreography, and I used it to relax and to, you know, to take a break. <laughs> you know, that, yeah, yeah. That, that's just, I mean, I'm telling you, that's impressive. It's just like, uh, it is art. It's art. It's gymnastical yes. art. How's that? Yeah, it is art. I just sure. made up a word. Is that gymnastical? Is that a right? Is that a word? I don't even know. Well, now it is. Now it is. <laughs> <laughs> you are the, the only North American, in like, you know, like English speaker here. So don't yeah. ask yeah. me if well, it's I'm a gonna word. word. I'm going to say the word gooder then. <laughs> gooder. <laughs> gooder. <laughs> Look at this. This is impressive. This is your pole dance. Now, is that painful? Because yeah. it looks like it would be on your leg, maybe, right? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when, when you do the this figure, I don't know, so many times, at least it's not, it's still painful, but yeah, you already don't care. <laughs> you just want to do the figure. I mean, I don't, don't want to ask if you have, you have calluses on your thighs. That's a little personal, but I would imagine that you probably get used to that after a while. You know, you're, yeah. yeah. I, wow. I have a boom question. Mm -hmm. uh, your skin need to be dry in order to make it happen and to like stay oh, there. Yeah. Or do you yes. need to put some like body lotion or something like that to do not hurt your skin? Glue. Well, that's good observation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for example, for example, in that we cannot, you know, put some uh, I don't know cream stuff in our skin because we are going to fall down. So it's like you you need to be like a super dry skin and, and yeah, don't don't put in yourself anything before doing some uh, pull just after <laughs> because you know you're going to die. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't like put chalk on your like your leg or something like that you wouldn't none of that huh no <laughs> wow yeah no, i i can hear my skin like tick 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 around the pole <laughs> <You know? laughs> stick into the pole some serious burns look at that that's, that's so cool that's so impressive i love it i love watching those pole dancers don't you Maya? i mean i right? think that's beautiful yeah that's so beautiful and we have never had a guest who who do, does that so we that's had one so cool. yeah we almost had one lined up but it didn't work out but uh, i i thought you know i'd like to do an episode on that pole dance because you know pole dancing in like europe means a whole lot it's a whole lot different they they look at it a whole differently than they or a whole lot differently than they do here in the united states but um i think it's beautiful i think it's uh it's very cool how it's like dancing it's really mm -hmm. like dancing, you know? Yeah, like here in Brazil, it's uh, like a big thing. People love doing that. We have many genes and uh, people love it. It's art. It's dance. You can combine like, you know, like all, all those skills of dancing music and um, I don't know, yep. circles and so beautiful. We love that here. Absolutely. Of course, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> talent, but it is beautiful. I love watching. Yeah, same. Here we go. This is the famous underwater aerial hoop photo of Wojcik. I love it. Exactly. Yeah. It's so yeah, cool. Freaking cool, man. It's, it's beautiful pictures. Oh, we got five minutes left. Juan says, I'll, I'll shut up now. We got to probably get going. Oh, but, no. But this is a beautiful photo. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. yeah it's so cool. <laughs> so cool. Very cool. It is easier doing the water or not? I was because just gonna... it has like gravity, right? <laughs> no, it's not because you know the problem there was that it was uh, the iron hoop was located like four or five meters uh, underwater deep, and you know to go there, you know when you breathe, your lungs are full of air. So I I had to patiently exhale all my my air for the lungs to to be able to sing with the with the hoop. Oh, so it was man. like after that, like wait like 10, 15 seconds. So the the hoop is going to be seen with my weight and and then boy <laughs> could take the pictures. But it was so hard <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but it, it looks cool. It looks really learning. cool. <laughs> yeah, this is dwarfy. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. I like that so much. <laughs> I I saw a movie another day talking about those like really deep down free divings, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's something else. I love it. <laughs> They're the shipwreck. I love, that. I love shipwrecks. I think they're so cool. Right? They're so nice. What do you, do you find anything in those ships sometimes? You find stuff? No, not? just just fish. Just fish. <laughs> and, <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> and sharks, yeah. These are sharks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no sharks. Wow. Oh my yeah, gosh. one of them bite me. <laughs> you people. <laughs> it's, wow. Just wow. This video from the beginning, you are just laying down with a bunch of uh, sharks, like really relaxed. I was yeah. like, well, she's, yeah. she's a rock star. That's freaking amazing. It is. It is. What kind of shark is that? Or that a shark? It is a shark. It's a whale, it? it's a whale shark. So beautiful. This is not dangerous, at least. <laughs> yeah, sure it's not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Well, obviously, you're swimming, swimming next to this thing. But like a buddy and it, but, is, you know. and it is pretty big yeah yeah i think that one was like eight meters or something yeah more or less oh, wow. oh hmm. my gosh you are something else you are not kidding Spanish superwoman right there superwoman <laughs> oh my gosh that's why I love so much that part of the show. We can really see your skills and things you are able to do. That's crazy and impressive. I love it. Thank you very much for sharing. I love it. Ditto. Thank you. <laughs> Ditto. I, you know, the funny part about that is I, I, I keep thinking, uh, you're swimming with these sharks and you're not afraid at all. And I see these videos on TikTok and these people have a, have a beached shark and they're trying to get him back. They're just freaking out and scared and screaming and everything else. I'm going... It's just so funny. Two, the two <laughs> totally polar opposite reactions to these fish. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I love it. And Irina, where can people contact you online and see more of your impressive things? Well, uh, actually, I have in all my stuff in, in on Instagram. If you can um, search me, like, it's Irene. Uh, under under sword, uh, square and also if you are interested in see so many animations uh, i i'm already in vimeo with the same username so they can find me over there that's so cool ironically i watched woody woodpecker the cartoon this morning and i thought of you when i was they go you know that's just so funny. <laughs> anyway i read i read the spanish superwoman we don't want to thank you for being our guest here this evening it was a absolute pleasure having you on the show Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. It has been a pleasure to be here. Yes, thank you. It's always nice to have a rock star and inspiration for all of us women. So thank you very much. Thank you. And we also want to thank our audience for tuning in tonight's show. Be sure to tune in for next week's episode, which will be, by the way, be our last weekly episode. It, it's uh, we are going to do, well, we'll talk about that next week. Uh, but we are going to be doing special features uh, from now on. Uh, last week will be our, our last weekly episode, so be sure to tune in for that. It's Sand Snow, the new trend with our guest Martin Guerra, along with Maya Marzaki. This is CW Getz saying thanks for tuning in to Outdoors People. See you next week. Ciao.